Christopher Columbus was concurrent with the pilgrims? Yes. I thought Christopher Columbus was a pilgrim. So I was taught in Thanksgiving. Wait, you guys think that? Yeah, I did. Yeah, dude. Well, now I'm... That's not true, is it? I don't know. Pretty sure they served no. turkey and squash. No, Christopher Columbus... He wasn't arrived even English. in 1492. Was He's he? the one who... Was he English? Spanish. The pilgrim. Spanish. What? Yeah, he might not have been on that one. No. Was, was fucking Vespucci on that? Over a hundred year difference. 1620. 1492, right? 1620. Yeah, Columbus was that, 1492. Oh my god. Oh, well then this doesn't even matter. <laughs> this is, why are we here? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> he has zero shame. <laughs> he looks like a whip. <laughs> the fact they charged 50 bucks for this yeah. is outrageous. Oh. Um, here are the keys. I mean, is this on the right way? Because, yeah, I am showing a little skin. I do not. Well, it has to be. Back. No, that is right. It's no, just the... no, it's wrong. Okay. That's for Wait, sure. Let me back. see. Oh, so... oh, yeah, you're backwards. Too. How is your butt crack always out? <laughs> <laughs> it's not exceptionally high. <laughs> It was. Yeah, it is. <laughs> how long? How long is it? It doesn't take? make any sense. It's blonde in real life. It's just blonde. It's definitely not red right now. I've fucked it a few times. Just like, <laughs> for, like for a shot where I take the saturation and I launch it. Shut <laughs> up! Have you really, you yeah, fucking yeah. dog? <laughs> no shit! Everyone thinks I'm red, then. <laughs> well, people realize because your whole face turns like purple when I do it. <laughs> it's, like, it's so aggressively over the top that like. Well, your face is red right now. Yeah. Who do you guys got today? Uh, we have Abella Danger, and then we have Miss Pat, and then we have Annie Lederman. We had a busy day today. Mm. Mm -hmm. Which one do you care about? What's up? What's up, dude? How are you? I love the mustache, by the way. Been Thank you very much. It looks great. Hey, guys. Should I sit over there? Yeah. yeah. What's up? How are you? Nice to see you. You too. Do you remember meeting me? Yeah, I remember I, meeting you. Okay. No, yeah, yeah, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> what an insane question that was. Do you remember meeting me? <laughs> I vaguely remember. What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> it is a question. Oh, Ruby, do you remember meeting me? Yeah, it does. <laughs> and also, that's a cool shirt. Thank you. It's, a, it's yeah. an overly horny shirt, though, isn't it's it? It's an overly horny shirt. Yeah. They were just I mean, she does look very sexy there, I guess. <laughs> it is. Sexy. Yeah. No, she, uh, well, this show got banned, apparently. Oh, it did? But because yeah, it was. For being too horny. No, 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 no. It was got banned because it was too mature for like young girls. Like that version of it? Just or just the Sailor Moon in general? Horny. No, but I think she was kicking ass too hard. She's like a female <laughs> crime fighter. Um, I need a pen, How about though. this? Abella walked in, gave Rudy a hug, and she asked Rudy if he remembered meeting her. <laughs> well, I, felt, I felt some sort of like hesitance. As I, like, <laughs> hesitance, I was like, does she remember meeting me? <laughs> yes, that's why I waved and hugged you. Abella <laughs> is... Your brain is funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I learned some well, because it was like the body language. Like, he was like... As I was going to hug him, so I was like, wait, am I, like, become a stranger? Like, what happened for Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two. Check, 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 check. Oh, should I do that, too? Okay, well, I guess I just did it by yeah. talking. Yeah. 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 All right. Good to go? Yep. I will get ATR ready. Cool. All right. It's a Bella Danger Week. <laughs> <laughs> It's got the final pieces, the ice. Yep, we got some Catholic chains, and I thought these were stud earrings. They're just normal earrings. Uh, I mean, I know KB can just shove it through his lobe, but don't think I can. I guess I'll try. Let's do it, it's fun. Okay, well these aren't exactly sharp, so this will be a, wow, a little tough for me. This is not something I'm going to do. Oh, fuck. That's clean, that's All right. clean. 
just gotta rip through the first interior, then you're soft. No, I'm not doing this. Yeesh! Ah. <laughs> oh, I missed that feeling. I don't know if I centered it. Let's see. Oh, it's perfectly, perfectly centered. No, I'm not doing that. All right. I don't even know how. Let's get, get, get it. Two time for the two time. Oh, that one was real easy. All right, you fuckers, let's get out of here. <laughs> Here we are at Pemberton Point. My senior year, we played our Thanksgiving football game here. As you can see, we are surrounded by the ocean. We had to contend with 60 mile per hour winds, sub-zero temperatures. It was the fourth quarter, it was zero, zero. 30 seconds left. Guess what happened? You got the game winning sack? Yeah, you did something. No, no, nope. we kicked the field goal. <laughs> you kicked the field goal? No, someone on my team kicked the field goal, and we won that game. 3-0! What? I'm fucking freezing and you took us to your ice Oh, you think it's cold now? It's the fucking 4th of July. You brought How us cold do you think it was on Thanksgiving, dude? You brought us to your fucking high school field. Oh, this isn't my high school. This is, this is our rival's field. What? Why are you doing Why? this? Why? Are we... This is the most I'm just showing you, not everybody has to fucking you play football it. on a peninsula. But I did, and I got two to three tackles that game. There has to be one thing more interesting than your rival's high school field. Yes, there is, there is. The island over there, I used to be a park ranger on it, it's where they filmed Shutter Island. What? There it is, Pettix Island. I worked there for one summer in college, and my job was to like show people around the island, but no people came. So my job was pretty much just to drink beers on, like, on the island. Um, but when like the occasional tourists would come, I would give them tours of uh, Fort Andrews. It was a military fort in World War I. It was where we would keep Italian POWs. Uh, that's kind of all I know about the island, other than the fact it's where they filmed Shutter Island. Was I on the island while they were filming? No, but my co-ranger was. The only thing he told me about it was that Leonardo DiCaprio kind of walks like a girl. He has like a very like, female effeminate saunter in a very like high voice when he's not acting. So that's all I know about the production, but it's a beautiful island. Um, you see like there's a little channel of water in between this point and the island. In World War II, they had to put down a submarine net. So there's a giant net to stop the subs from getting into Boston Harbor. That's cool. One of my co-rangers was an absolute psychopath. That wasn't fun because we lived in like a barn over there and it would just be me and him just had to live together for 10 days straight. Um, and uh, yeah, he had night terrors and stuff. So like, it's just, it gets kind of spooky out there, you know, when you're just on a fucking island, you and one dude and he's screaming in the middle of the night. But altogether, great summer job, got to drink a lot of beers, didn't have to really do much work. Because as I said before, I would get maybe two visitors a week. So the rest of the time, just me, living on an island, alone, with one psychopath. This character building experiences like that that have made me the man I am today. The world's opening back up and that means there's a ton of thrills and opportunity out there. The thrill of pussy or ass hole. And you can use Roman swipes to always rise to the occasion because when you have Roman, that means you have confidence. You can go to GetRoman.com slash Barstool for 50% off any ED medication if you're already subscribed. Let's do this thing. Just put it right on my dick. You got this, Nick. <laughs> I'm sorry, I fucked up. <laughs> we get along here. I mean, I am a Sit rider. down. I'm a rider. I'm not. I am. So you're a scout. Proud of it. Proud of it. I'm fucking proud of it. Disgusting behavior. Look who shoves it in, doesn't he sit here? Oh, I know that's Jay Marshall's chair. Nico doesn't really have a chair. Yeah, he just, he's got a throne. What's up? How's it going? How are you guys? I like the new uh, episode. Gaz is one of the all-time riders. New episode of the pod is great. Thank you. Gaz is a day one rider. You can be a rider and also listen to the sit-down pod, a mafia history podcast. You know what? I don't hosted by Blackjack Fletcher. The number one podcast in a game about the mob. You want mob history? We got you covered. And you know what? We talked about Al Capone, John Gotti, Tony Salerno, 
everybody and everybody. Make sure you check it out. But I'm not here to promote, I'm here to squash some beefs and talk about Rico Bosco, and that's what the subject is today. That's where he sits, right? He sort of bounces around. Well, I've seen him here before. That is one of them. That's where Rico sits, right? What do you think, Big I'm a, I'm a rider. I'm a rider for sure. We're well, going to sit down. We're all going to have a little sit down, a little chit chat, a little powwow. We're going to we're gonna figure some shit out. Phone lines will be open if anybody wants to call in. You know, Brandon? Yeah. Brandon. If those two ever had a podcast, it would be the best Oh. Podcast of all time. That's an idea. <laughs> that is an idea, Frank. Yeah, that is an idea. What's your role? Are you going to play? Are you going to just talk sports? Or are we gonna I'm talking sports and gambling, brother. That's all I'm doing. Why are you? What's going on with your beard? I'm just growing it out, man. I don't think you are. I don't think you've told the beard that. I think you've told the bottom, but you haven't told the top. I'm gonna go You're half top. and half. You're, you've got a light beard here and a heavy beard here. I wish it was bigger on the top. I was a little tired, too. Don't we all, brother? Yeah. Wish my wife was too. Do you think that there's going to be any callers? Oh yeah. Oh, I think. Ring that bell. I can't. Um, have you talked to Rico at all? What are you doing? I'm documenting. Have you talked to Rico at all? I'm not. I haven't. Uh, he hasn't texted me. He hasn't called me. He hasn't done anything to me. He has. He's just. Uh, you know. I suppose he's just whatever he's doing. You know, he doesn't come to work a lot. It's gonna get cut off. No, it's not gonna get cut off. I will. I promise you, it won't get cut off. How do you think Pick Central is gonna get cut today? Um, I don't think it's gonna be that contentious, honestly, because Marty's not here, Rico's not here. I saw Big Evan and Nadu talking a little bit before. Seemed like they're not gonna go in wanting to rip each other's heads off. Mint, I know, is a fucking savage freak killer, but he seems to be pretty tame today. Uh, and Brandon's gonna lead the ship, so I, I actually, as, as somebody who loves drama and yelling, <laughs> It's gonna be, I, I don't think it's going, I mean, people, I, everybody I hope tuned in, this is after the fact, but I don't think it's gonna be that contentious. He has got to fucking go. Thanks, Tom. Like, quite the lineup we got in here today. The vibe is good, I'm feeling good. I got a lot to say, we're gonna have some fun. Brandon's leading the charge like a pro. What, you got a lot to say? Yeah. Don't go, eh. You got a lot to say, you got a lot to say? I got a little bit to say, yeah. So, Omerta is an extreme form of loyalty and solidarity in the face of authority. A person should absolutely avoid interfering in the business of others. I'm going to read that on the show. Should not inform the authorities of a crime under any circumstances. If justified, he may personally avenge a physical attack on himself or his family by vendetta. A code of honor. Interesting shirt. Hmm. So don't snitch. Correct. Is that all you had to explain this morning? Just happened to have that one? No. Oh, yeah. Hey, all right. It is Pick Central. Never and never will stoop to that type of level. I've never put anybody's personal life. Got a little viewing party over here? Any of that stuff. I want to make that very clear. From the start, I don't know where this even starts. People have asked me all the time, how did this start with you and him? I don't know. I'm not aware of how it started. He just hates me for some reason. He said some things. I went off the handle. I called in. Other people that are in this room right now, obviously, <laughs> vacation, he's here. That's a stand-up guy for coming in. Yeah. Wow, what a hero. Give it up for Big Av. We have a caller that we're going to go to. We'll, we'll start with calls. Uh, go ahead. Oh, it's uh, looks like David and Montauk. Hello, David. Oh, I don't even know if it's a call. Uh, you know, I saw a lot of people bailed on the show, or you know, yeah, good to see Mitzi there. Uh, uh, he's not in New Orleans, but I wanted to hear the show and see the show and, and hear what's going on. And, you know, the dude to on the show. I want, I'm a team guy, so I got to be here for it. I'm a rider, obviously, but when the other guys weren't doing it, and, and let me, well, I didn't want to interrupt 
nothing to do to do, so let him continue, and then I'll just be part of the show. I have some things I'd like to say about it, but Nadudu can continue it because I feel like I cut him off unless he was done. All right, Jeff, you keep going, and then we'll turn to Dave, and we'll ask him what he thinks. Yeah, I mean, look, I as I said the other day, I called in. I was very pissed off. I was fucking mad. This is what I grew up doing, and this is what I love more than anything in the world. Just sitting on a boat and gas and beers. I know you guys brought me to Wheeling, and you showed me like what you like to do for fun. Well, this is what I like to do for fun, and I'm so happy you guys get to experience it. This is real similar to Wheeling, too. Now, I do have to, to warn stop. you, most of the people up in Mass who dress like that are always looking to fight. Mm -hmm. So, uh -huh. I don't want to have to bail you guys out of a yeah. sticky situation, so just, you know. First dude I see, I'm just going to fucking bash him. Mm -hmm. East sandwich, no, I mean, west sandwich, south sandwich. Only if they start shit with you, okay? Mm -mm. Like, One of no. them looks at me, I'm going to bash him. Now, slur is my catchphrase for cute guys, everybody. Aren't they both slur pussy now? <laughs> You had to pick who's the biggest slurp amongst us. Okay, slurp was my catchphrase. Look at you watching the show and being educated. I mean, you're all very cute in your own way. I'm not just saying that, believe me, I would not just say. But I would say, Nate, probably yeah. you're the most fit. Most fit? But what does that mean? Just <laughs> Most fit. It means he's vain. Mm. No, I just think you're the most fit. But do you work out? You don't work out a lot. None of us You just do. have like a natural little... Not natural. We just don't work out. We just don't work out. It just comes... Naturally. He used to wrestle, so he's used to. Oh, like, he that's of, what it is. He has a lot of You still got like those high school things going on. Yeah. 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 He does. Yeah. He does yeah. have those high school Is he's wrestling gay? It. I don't want to be like, but is it? I think a lot of people discovered they were gay probably wrestling. Yes. A guy pinning you to the ground mm -hmm. with your butt like this and him like this to you. Mm -hmm. So it's <laughs> actually the straightest sport because you wrestled for like eight years and you never found out you were gay. Wow. You turn yeah. a lot of guys out. So you're Paige Turner. Mm -hmm. Fantastic name. It mm -hmm. draws the eye. It gets people It's in. like a sentence. Hypothetically, mm -hmm. if we wanted to partake <laughs> in this, what what would our names be? For you. Me. Misty Harbor. Yeah, yeah, yes. yes. Is that good? Yeah, I was saying that earlier. And for you, let's see. High school athlete. Uh... Nelly Bottom. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You were good. And like for it. you, I can I can be skinny or I can be fat, it's depending on what. Oh, you want. you're a mess. How for you? I gotta think about this. I can be Why skinny. is that turning me on? But Sorry. you're straight, correct? Yes. Sure. So far. So I'm gonna call you not so, not so straight. <laughs> Not so straight. Oh, Jelly good. bottoms and Misty Harbor. Okay. That is. Yeah. That sounds like a headline. Find some tackle, find some lures, so we can drop a few lines off the dick dock in like an hour. That's usually when the fish start biting. Okay. Depends on the lure you use. That's what kind of person you're gonna catch. And if you get one of these, dude, these are hard to find. These, you might get yourself. Expensive. You might get yourself a big boy. Why do they need to glow in the dark? Uh, because that attracts the fish. Oh, okay. Yeah. In a deep cove. They need a little bit of light. Anything flashy, anything that moves. Anything a little bit shiny? In all honesty, being in here makes me realize I'll never fucking be able to pleasure a woman. Alright, we're pulling right into the squiggly lines. Now, it doesn't mean shit. That just means that's where he caught all the fish this morning. Might be a little too late for that. He went out this morning at what, at like 5 a.m.? Yeah. And he pulled up a thousand pounds of fish. We're probably gonna get, I don't know, probably nothing. Uh, if we're being no, honest, with that attitude, we're not going to get anything. We're about to catch right, it. Shut up, Pat. The last time I went with you, you didn't get shit. That's true, actually. And and you had a positive attitude the whole day. Yeah, sure. The fish ain't biting, so that's where Murdon comes in. KB, can you cut me? What? Just like a little slice. How how how, how did you sneak that on the boat? Yeah. How, when did, was that Dude, underneath? Murdon never left. I've always had this tail. I'm not going to cut you. For when I would you. need it. Well, not like a fucking essential vein. Just like Why do you need surface? me? Do it to yourself. Nah, I can't do that. Don't just worry. I'll go just in the water. I'll flop around. I'll excite the fishies. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> All right. Fuck it. We're not. We're not catching shit. Murdon did not get the job done. Rev it.
steamers have the little necks? Yeah, they got the little head that comes out and yeah. they squirt water at you. Have you ever heard of a, a geoduck? Yeah, a gooey duck. A gooey duck. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're, yeah <laughs> that's that's Those things yeah. got them like a horse cock. How's got that fish? Uh, <laughs> take it from me? <laughs> Thank you. So I heard one thing unique you do in this spot is you kind of mix the fresh seafood with an Asian flair. Yes, yeah. And you got the goons too, right? Yes, oh yeah, house-made rangoons. Uh, uh, who's the guy back here who wraps the rangoons? That would be me. Yeah. You wrap them? Yeah, oh yeah. I like to touch everything, you know. I like to make sure everything, the quality is there, which you'll see. This is his first time in Massachusetts. Right. And like they, you know, they're trying to, they're trying to fit in. You would have never, you never guessed this was our first time. You can tell. You guys Dick look like, looks like screen, a dickhead. You look look, like a screen, look at you. You guys look like screen doors in a submarine. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> if, if my math is correct, you're the odd man out here. Yeah. I have asked people if they know of Johnny on the television. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, and a lot of them do. Yeah. I say, that's my grandson. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I brag a little. Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember when I was young, you told me that I was either going to be an actor or own a restaurant. <laughs> And or just fail or, both of those. Uh, I succeeded, I think, <laughs> yeah. because I make food videos now and I not act. Not a restaurant, um, not acting. I remember you were telling me that a long time ago when you used to fly on a plane, you could smoke cigarettes on the plane, right? There was a smoking section. A smoking section on the plane. On the plane. And they used to serve meals. I can remember being on a plane where we went up on a balcony and had a full course breakfast. That was the glory days. Yeah. So this is the activity room? This is the activity room. And Sarah, you'll sit over there and she has the news of the day and it goes on the screen. That's good. Yeah. Like Jerry Thornton belongs. Yep. Yeah. yeah. We are actually a band as well, or were a band. Um, we recorded a song. You did? Yeah. Can I hear we're it? Musicians. Um, yeah, I can play it. I can play it for you. I'd love to hear it. So we wanted people to look at us. That we wanted people to stare at us. We wanted them to gaze at us. So I... we're called gaze. Gaze. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Having fun, yeah. Feel that you've arrived or you haven't come, yeah. Save it, sunset. Try to fly sooner. Very good. Well, thank you. Very good. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Yeah. Very, very good. Did you like it? Because you don't, you don't have to tell us you liked it, but. I did like it. You did? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Well, I I'm not surprised. Like it. Absolutely. Hi, Dave. How are you? Long time no chat. Good. How are you, Tyler? Uh, doing Can you well. sing it before you get into this? Just sing us something. Uh, winter, spring, summer, or fall. All you gotta do is call, and I'll be there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful. Now, hopefully, he's not gonna quit. Well, well qu quit is the wrong term. Uh, at the end of this month, I'll be tendering my resignation uh, from Barstool. What Dear happened? Day. Where are you going? Uh, the Empire State Building. What does that mean, besides the obvious? <laughs> uh, they uh, <laughs> want a social media manager to build out their social strategy over there. Um, and I thought it was a really cool. Hold on. For the building, the back. Hold on. You're telling me you're leaving Barcelona Sports to be the social media manager of a building? So bad for our day, he, he just kind of like shit on the Empire Steel for like 20 minutes. <laughs> He's like, this is the I worst job ever. Oh, it's a building. That, that, yeah. that, it's a building. Yeah. It's cement. It's an old building that nobody really cares about. No offense to the Empire State Building. I don't mean to insult it, but like who cares? I, you know, our 
office used to be right by. I walked by. I never went in. I was like, ugh, that building. There's nothing. I don't care if Tyler O'Day is singing on top of it from the rooftop. I'm not going in that. Who cares about how did we lose to a building? We always say we're a great place to work and exciting. You want to go promote uh, building cement? I'm lost. What happened? It's just, it's, I... I, it's an iconic building. I, I, my jaw dropped. I love Tyler O'Day. It's very sad. Sing me a sad song, Tyler. Uh, it's a little bit funny, this feeling inside. Not one that one man can easily hide. I know it's not much, but it's the best I can do. This here is my song, and this one's for you. All right. Go work at the Empire State Building. Quick update on the interns. Um, yesterday, first day, one of them asked for a raise. I said no, <laughs> and he Wait. quit. Are they getting paid? I do pay them. 250 bucks a week. Wow. wow. Nice. Yeah. This kid wanted 400 and did he say why he had some sort of thing like he has to make a certain amount of money for his parents to like uh take care of his college it's like wash the hands it's really fucking stupid his parents are probably stupid no offense clench your nuts grab your balls tyler o'day what a oh. disgusting looking human yeah. <laughs> every time he walks by he takes my breath away in a negative way right. you yeah. think you're mr big man because you ran a marathon i'm proud i mean i'm proud of it yeah, for sure proud of why i'm not proud of myself for watching thrones i don't think you can equate those two. why we both enjoy it yeah but i mean anybody can watch thrones i, anybody I can know, run I know, a marathon i don't agree with that <laughs> what do i mean? don't who agree can? with that who can there are people who do not have the mental toughness to do it. Oh, would you shut up? <laughs> you think Tyler O'Day gives a fuck about coronavirus with that hat? I think. Get over here, Tyler. <laughs> come in. Come in here, Tyler. son of a bitch. Come with me, baby. I'm the fella you're in love with. Luck, be a lady tonight. Thank you, Tyler. Stay that, safe. That rate, you may end up ringing the, uh, the, the opening bell. That might be the only man left. pretty okay. soon. You should be happy where you are. It's a blessed yeah, hope for Cadbury. It doesn't show signs of stopping, but I brought us some corn for popping. All the land of the free and the home of the free. I'm Tyler O'Day, studying communications, and I'm UMass Proud. Right now, it's the Ski Ball Championship. We're in Brooklyn. They normally wouldn't be into it, but the Ski Ball Championship? Look at this fucking crowd. <laughs> yes, sir. It's like that Ski Ball shit. Feels yeah. good to finally see all our hard work come to fruition here. That's the no one knows who we are. Yeah, but we have some Ski Ball guys like you guys. 100%. <laughs> so the backstory here is KB brought up Ski Ball. Probably five months ago, he just got obsessed with these guys for like two days, and then we're and then this this happened. Like we didn't. It was like yeah, we should do that, and then like six months later, it's like hey, we're doing this. I don't think we've talked about it since. Yeah, so you, you mentioned it like once a yeah. month later. So we we heard it too. We were like oh, we'll send another DM to them, and see if we can make it happen. Yeah, there's Joey the cat versus the kid. Nick, you kind of seem like a ski ball person. Why? Because you're from like a nowhere town. You have the body of a ski baller. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> you ever see those guys? Yeah, they look just like you. Yeah, it looks like they have a lot of stamina when they. Fuck. Where's who? Who's the governing body of ski ball? I would like to be this dude. Yeah, yeah. You should, yeah. I think it is this dude. He's the ski EO. Yeah. What? He's the ski EO. Kind of the ski ball king. The, the, that is. 
Ewan Flutterman, the skee ball kid, yes. current ranked well, world number one, and that's his old man, his coach. Really? Yeah. And then KB, KB is, it's like his celebrity crush. You're with the kid, Ron? I'm with the kid. I'm Ski Ball Kid. It's like four of these guys are with the cat. I don't understand why. I'm with the kid. KB's with the kid. Owen's with the kid. Everybody else, cat, cat, cat. Brandon Walker, gone. He's with the kid. So it's three and three after Brandon's left. <laughs> Big Cat just said that lane three is the loosest, lane one is the tightest. So Kid wants to play in lane three because he's going for the That's loose hundreds. It's surreal to be here. I mean, I'm the kid guy through and through, and I think the kid, kid guy head. is, I'm a kid head, but I am, I am what? not anti-Joe Cat. I love them both. <laughs> the kid's gonna Shout out Jay. Your boy, your boy Serge Lake. Serge Lake, I didn't understand the scoring until like the eighth frame. So I thought we were fucked. This was, uh, I am, this is my favorite score. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. yeah. What? Do you roll? No, no. I'm a DDR guy. I'm a Dance Dance Revolution guy, but I respect these players. Like this is, this is athletic. Round two goes to Joey Cat. Any game two, the cat took care of business right, right there. And you can't call it any other way. I mean, the kid's right here, you know what I mean? But I, I just have to call a spade a spade. The cat took over right there. He rode the momentum that he had early on in game one into game two. Game three is germane to the kid. If he wants to stay alive right here, he has to win this next game. Let's get some hundreds on a tight lane one. I mean, Jermaine is one way to put it. It's Jermaine. It's Jermaine Dupree, brother. This shit is. I guess it's Jermaine, yeah. It's very Jermaine. This shit is super Jermaine. And uh, this is going to be the tightest lane, le lane yet. And uh, I'm I mean, nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous too. I'm nervous. What's it like? It's way more electric than I thought. Hank's already about to buy the league. Hank's about to buy the league for Sewell Street. He's, it's electric. This has more views than our live show. No one cares about us. They care about these stars. They're here for the ski ball. Oh, Round three! Let's go! Everyone back! Ski ball kid! Ski ball kid! Ski ball kid! The coveted title of number one ski ball player in the country from ski to shining ski. 22 is the number for a impressive statement rematch after two years of a wait. Electric. It didn't stink, it was electric. Maybe it was even a little bit banana land. <laughs> and I mean it. <laughs> It was better than we could have ever imagined. Ever. <laughs> what an experience. Skee-ball championship. Battle of old versus new. 
Joey the Cat reclaims his throne. Hasn't won since 2014, and Coors Light was sponsoring it all. Coors Beautiful. Light sponsoring it all, and I know it wasn't all business Pete's fault, but fuck all business Pete. A lot of technical difficulties. The bar was running it, but it was his fucking fault, so. But this is not the end of ski ball and no. barstool sports. No. I think it might be just the beginning. Yes. I heard Hank is Hank is hot on hot on the ski ball, so more ski ball to come. Stay tuned. I had a blast. I thought it was great. Yeah, it, it was, was awesome. If, if it was like it was awesome. If you take out the technical difficulties, it was great. It was perfect He's without the technical. Yeah, right, right. Exactly. We'll see you in the triple S though. We'll do it next time in the triple yes. S. Yes. Long live Joey the Cat.